Here we have two C Sharp X unit test projects, and they have exactly the same test code, exactly the same unit tests, but there's one important difference. If I go ahead and just start running both of these test projects, what you're going to notice is that the one on the left side is going to take a long while to complete, while the one on the right side is just going to take a few seconds to be done. And in fact, it is already done. You can see that it only took eight seconds right there. And so what, what's going on there? If it's the same test code, why is the one on the left side taking so much time to complete? So that's what I want to show you in this video where, where we're going to see how to speed up your X unit tests so that they can run way, way faster, all right? And so, yeah, let's start by taking a look at the ones on the left side. And let's, let's take a quick look at the time that it took. It was 28.5 seconds here. So let's see what's going on. So let's first take a look at the test cases. So what I have here is a simple X unit test project. And so I have three test classes, parallel test one, two, and three, right? And each of them have exactly the same test code. And never mind the actual logic of the test cases, that's not important. What I did here is that each of these test cases just is pointing to a thread slip of three seconds, right? Uh, because we want to see these, these test cases actually trying to do something, right? So they don't run too fast. Uh, but when you start looking at this test code over here, as you can see, we have eight test cases. You may think that they should just go ahead and run in parallel, right? I mean, that's one of the promises of, of this test framework. However, uh, that's not quite the case. I mean, if they run in parallel, this, uh, I mean, this should not take more than perhaps three seconds, right? Maybe a little bit more accounting for the time that it takes to bootstrap the, the process. But if you go back into, into, this, uh, into the test explorer over here, and we go ahead and run the test cases, what you're going to notice is that each of the test cases inside one of these test classes is running sequentially, right? So notice, uh, so if I expand this, notice that it runs one test case and then runs another test case across different test classes, but it is not running any test cases within one test class in parallel, right? And so why is that? What's going on there? So to understand this, let's, let's jump quickly into this page over here. This is the page of the uh, X unit. This is the X unit documentation. And as you can see here, if you scroll down a little bit, uh, there's this concept of the test collections, right? So by default, uh, X unit is going to place each test class into a, a, by default into a test collection, right? And the way that X unit works is that it can parallelize multiple test collections, right? So if you have two test collections, it is going to run both them in parallel. But the test cases inside the test collection are not going to run in parallel. They are going to run sequentially, right? So for instance, if you had this test class over here, uh, these two facts, test one and test two, they are going to run sequentially because they are part of just one test class. But you have another example over here where we have two test classes. Each test class is going to be assigned to a different test collection. And so because of that, the test cases are going to be running in parallel, right? They are in different test collections, right? So that's a default behavior of the X unit. That's how it works. And so, you can't do much uh, at this level in terms of how to parallelize further the, the unit test, right? And so if you scroll down here, what you can see is that there are ways to uh, modify the default behavior in the sense that you may want to do less parallelism, right? You can use test collections also to say, hey, I don't want to run multiple uh, test collections in parallel. I want to run everything sequentially, just one by one, one by one, right? Uh, but uh, the reverse, I mean, if you want to say, no, I do want to run not just the test collections, but the, the test cases, I want to run test cases inside a test class in parallel because I have just way too many test cases, right? So how do you do that? So it is not obvious how to do it, but there is actually a way. And that's something that uh, I'm going to show you. I, I didn't discover. I actually found this in Messianu's uh, blog uh, a while ago. And the way that you can do this, and this is actually based in a discussion that you, do, you can actually see in GitHub, in the XUnit uh, page for X, uh, GitHub, there's a request on how, how can we enable this, right? And if you go across, I'm not going to go across all of this, but as part of this, this uh, discussion, uh, there, there is um, a, an idea of how to do this. And the idea is that what you want to do is just to, and as this guy mentioned here, how to put a dynamically each test case into its own test collection. That, that's pretty much the idea, right? If you can have each test case uh, go into one test collection, then XUnit should be able to go ahead and run all the test cases in parallel, right? And in fact, that is what uh, Messiantus uh, is mentioning here, how to do that, right? And so if you go over here, which is, um, is uh, his uh, Nougat package, uh, messiantu.xunit.parallel framework, this is the Nougat package that can enable that kind of behavior, right? So just by installing this Nougat package, you can make it so that each test case in one the specific test class can have its own test collection. And by doing that, you are able to run the test cases in parallel. So let's see how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this, copy that. And I'm going to go back into Visual Studio Code. 
over here. And so let me just go ahead and close this and let me open up my terminal a little bit more. Let me open up this and let me go into my actual test project and I'm going to paste what I just added, right? So don't add a package like that, all right? So just by doing this, uh, that Nugget package is going to modify the default behavior of XUnit. And by the way, XUnit is, is extensible. So you can actually do this. So this is uh, totally legal, right? And so you can modify it in such a way that uh, before executing this, the test cases, you can reformulate how the test cases are organized in your test project. And that's what this Nugget package is going to do, right? It's going to make it so that each test case goes to, into its, its own test collection. So after doing this, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and do a Ctrl Shift B to build my entire test project, right? So just building the entire thing. And now I'm going to go ahead and rerun the test cases to see what happens, right? So it is all built and I'm going to go ahead and rerun my test case. So let's see what, what happens now. So it is building, it's kicking off the project the process now. And notice that now every single test case is running in parallel. You saw that it was, it was really fast. So I'm going to do it again. So you start running. And now because each test case is put in its own test collection, all test cases are running uh, in parallel, as you can see here, right? And so we are done this time in no more than 7.7 .7 seconds. Right. And as you saw, all we did was just modify our test project. And I can show you that briefly here. All we did was just add this one Nugget package, this one here, Parallel Test Framework by Messiantu, which is a great Nugget package, by the way. And so that fixed it, that fixed the product right away. So, uh, yeah, so now uh, it's not like it's going to run, uh, I mean, it's going to depend on how many unit tests you have in your test class, right? Because there's a limit on, on how much parallelism you can achieve in your machine, because it also depends on how many virtual CPUs you have in your machine, right? So it happens to be that I have 20, 18, 24 virtual CPUs in my machine. And so because I have eight test cases in each test class and I have three test classes, so that accounts for 24 test cases, it is able to run pretty much everything in parallel. But if you have less virtual CPUs or more the unit tests, of course, it's going to take a little bit of more time. Uh, but regardless, it is actually able to run as many test cases uh, inside a test class in parallel, which is what we wanted to achieve. So hope you liked this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.